I'm Damo from CompNow, and I'm joined by Jam Senior Sales Engineer and Mac Admins Podcaster, Marcus Ransom, for a wrap up of Apple's WWDC 2022. There was a big focus on security and identity, and we've got lots to talk about, but before we get into those details, Marcus, what are your thoughts on the conference generally? Uh, thanks, Damo. Um, like every year, it was great getting up at 3 a.m., watching the keynote and finding out what we've got in store for the next year. Um, and it was really exciting to see what Apple announced. Um, unlike previous years, it was also fantastic to see that the what's new in managing Apple device sessions and all of the other sessions that relate specifically to what we do as Apple admins weren't on the last day of the session. They were mm. upfront, really demonstrating Apple's focus on the enterprise, um, Macs becoming a first-class citizen in enterprise deployments and all of the really awesome things they announced. Yeah, fantastic. Before we get on to the security and identity, Marcus, there have been some very promising uh, developments in software updates. Yeah, so uh, I know one of the discussions we've been having with a lot of our customers is how to keep their Macs up to date, um, how to ensure that the software updates are applied um, quickly to ensure that the devices are as secure as they can be. Um, so it was awesome to see Apple announce the rapid security response process where Macs can receive critical software updates uh, without needing to uh, restart the machine or go through a sort of a long um, intensive user process to keep their devices secure. Mm. And separating out those security related uh, developments from uh, other software updates that might require a bit more testing as well, potentially. Yeah, and also being able to revert those updates or um, providing the, the device management keys to be able to prevent or allow those updates. So really giving organisations a lot more flexibility and certainty about the state of their devices and being able to, as it says, rapidly respond to uh, current security issues that are out there. Fantastic. And another area that admins often have troubles with, migration, has been made a lot easier as well. Yeah, so Migration Assistant has always been a really good consumer process to be able to bring information from your old Mac to your new Mac, but it's always posed some challenges in a managed environment. Uh, the challenge being that it tends to break the enrolment on the new device when you bring across all the settings from the old device. So Apple has announced some changes to Migration Assistant, allowing us to be able to manage um, the settings to prevent the system settings, network settings, and also printers from coming across and ensuring that you can get the user data over and not bring anything that's going to break or compromise the enrolment of the new device. So really looking forward to seeing how that manifests and what that's going to be able to offer all of our customers. Indeed, it should make things much, much simpler. Moving on to identity and authentication now, we saw a lot of content in this particular area. We've got a few things to cover. But um, anything general to say on identity and authentication before we get into detail? Look, this is, this is something that's um, part of the you know, awesome future we have um, managing Apple devices. So the old days of constantly having to say, I'm sorry, that's not supported on Mac OS, or this is not how it works with Apple devices, they're over. So uh, as, as we said before, Mac OS is a first class citizen now in enterprise deployments. And it's clearly going to get a lot easier and a much better user experience in the future. So some of the things that really stuck out for me was the managed device attestation. Mm. So that's that's something where you know we know when we're providing access to VPNs or network, the idea of zero trust network access. We want to know who the user is. And that's great. We can do that with our identity management, multi-factor authentication. But in certain environments, we also want to know what device the user is on. And so that's been traditionally done with certificates, looking at the device enrolment. Managed device attestation is a way that Apple can use a secure enclave on these devices with the ACME protocol to really get that certainty around this device is actually the device that it says that it is, and it isn't just another device pretending, masquerading to be that device. It's managed to capture those credentials. Mm -hmm. And proving that uh, Acme is not just a Looney Tunes reference. No, no. Um, really interesting to see where that's come out of um, Let's Encrypt's CA infrastructure. And that, that's something that's going to be um, really important to see where this comes initially out of uh, iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, and to see how this is implemented and where this can move uh, into the rest of the Apple ecosystem. Excellent. And uh, on to SSO now. There's been some improvements to SSO for account-driven user enrolment. 
Yeah, so, so this is an area where we're seeing a lot of work from Apple. Um, the idea, this, this um, has a sweet spot in BYOD, um, using managed Apple IDs and seeing Apple putting a, a lot more work into here to make that user experience of identifying who they are uh, a much smoother process uh, and maintaining that user identity. Um, so, you know, really, really fascinating to see where this goes. Excellent. And there's some crossovers with this area and managed per app networking as well? Yeah, yeah. So, so in, in BYD, um, the, we see things like being able to now have the opportunity to apply web filters and DNS proxies on a per app basis rather than to the whole device. So this is something where you know this this will give um, enterprise mobility tools the ability to give that granular control on a user's device where you want to control those networking items mm -hmm. and not have to have that control on areas of the device where you know, it's it's the user space, it's their own personal part of the device. Fantastic. And rounding out identity in SSO, we've got platform SSO. What can you tell us about that, Marcus? So platform SSOs, uh, it's, it's really interesting to see Apple expanding on what they've already given us over the last few years with the SSO plugin extension, um, providing more opportunities for organisations to integrate Apple devices into their enterprise um, end user compute workflows. So, you know, this is going to be to make things a lot easier for Apple devices to start taking over the traditional Windows environment with that deep integration with cloud identity. Fantastic. And leaving identity aside now after covering a lot, we've got uh, some updates on declarative management. Yeah, so declarative management or MDM 2.0, as we often hear this um, called, was released last year. Um, specifically just dipping the toes in, looking at that user enrolment space. So Apple's announced that this now comes in its early format to all device enrolment types and, and device types. So the idea of declarative MDM um, really allows the device to be doing a lot of the calculation and configuration as to its current state and what configurations need to be applied. So instead of responding to queries and requests from the MDM server for everything that needs to happen on the device, we can send controls to the device saying, this is what happens to if it's on this version of the operating system or if it's got this particular configuration and then the device is able to send back inform information to the MDM server based on any changes that are happening. Yeah and I think from my own point of view having a device to be able to intelligently apply management based on changes on the device level without needing to ping a server yeah. that is really going to lead to some great efficiencies and some even better user experiences. Yeah, and this is definitely the direction that Apple is going in. Um, what we're seeing here is addressing a lot of the questions that people have had about how can we do certain things. Um, and so seeing this in its still early form uh, gives everyone the opportunity to start to understand the opportunities that this brings for being able to manage devices in a in a more flexible, modern, certain and enterprise level. Mm. And I just the idea of devices remediating some of their own issues yeah. on the device itself is just a, hugely appealing to me. And one of the important things that Apple mentioned in the documentation in the sessions was saying that the focus of future protocol features will be declarative device management. So, mm -hmm. so this, this is very much the future of how we will be managing devices. Excellent. Well, when Apple starts calling a new tune, you don't have to start dancing immediately, but uh, maybe start tapping your foot. Exactly. Now, the other thing we also saw Apple do was release all of the documentation about all of the device management functionality um, on GitHub. And so this also allows much better visibility and transparency, programmatic searches, the ability to track changes for both administrators and mm. those of us creating device management systems, um, but also allowing programmatic implementation. If we know there is a certain place where all of the documentation exists, um, it's a lot easier to react to those changes. And uh, it's just more promising news on the documentation yeah. front. Yeah, we love good quality documentation that gives it makes it very clear as to how we should be using these these features and functions. Absolutely. How would you wrap up this year's WWDC? 
Look, it, it really is a good time to be managing Apple devices. We're seeing so many more opportunities to really deeply integrate with all of the systems that everybody's wanting to use out there in the world. And, you know, and that's something that here at Jamf, we're deeply focused in giving our customers and our users the opportunity to be able to use these uh, features in Ventura and iOS 16 from, from the day of release. But just remember, this is our first look at the betas. Um, we've got several months of testing and refining the improvements to go through. So it's, it's really important for everybody in their environment to test all of this, to see how it works, to see what it means to you and how it interacts with all of the systems that you use in your environment. So we're really excited to hear how this is all working in, in your environment, what sort of things you're experiencing, what things you're getting excited about using, um, what are some of the things that are gonna be really beneficial um, in your workplace. Great, thank you Marcus for joining us. And a quick reminder that your organisation can access betas and other key materials via Appleseed for IT. If you need support with that or anything to do with managing Apple devices in your organisation, please get in touch with your CompNow account manager or email us at info at compnow.com.au.